Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a spotlight effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. On screen right now you can see a quick example of what this is. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is have a track on your timeline. So right now I just have this track of this overhead drone shot of New York. And I want to draw particular attention to something in this scene for our spotlight effect. In this case I'm going to be choosing this one little truck as an example. But of course you can zone in on whatever you want in your particular scene or video. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is coming to our effects panel. If you don't know where that is, simply come up to window and click on effects. And we're going to be searching in our search bar for circle. Now we're going to be using this generate circle effect by dragging it onto our video track on our timeline. So as you may know, you're going to have a white circle in the middle with black all around it. And this is actually not what we're going to be doing. We're going to be changing some of the settings in this to make it work as our spotlight effect. So our next step is to come up to our effects control panel. If you can't find out one more time, we're going to come to window and we're going to go to effect controls. And from here, we're going to be playing around with some of our settings to actually make our circle fit inside this. So the first thing I'm doing is clicking invert circle. And now we're going to be changing our blending mode from none to normal. And as you can tell, our circle is going to be see-through now. Now, if you want, you can change the outside color around the box to anything you want. So in this case, it's going to be white because of our color. But of course, you can click on this little box and then select any color you wish to use. In this case, I'm going to be choosing black for the outside of it. And we can change the intensity of this black color by playing around with this opacity down here at the bottom. So I'm going to be taking it down a little bit just so we can see our scene on the outside. But I'm going to be leaving it on about 30 to 40 percent just so we can see exactly where our circle is lying. Now, as you can tell, our circle is perfectly centered at the moment. To change this, we can play around with our center. To increase the size of our circle, we can play around with the radius. And to play around with the edge of the circle, we can click this drop down here and play around with some of these edge radiuses. In this case, I'm not going to be using any of them. I'm going to be using the feather, which is going to smoothen around the edge. Of course, this is up to you. All you have to do is drop down this little feather option and then increase the feather radius. And as you can tell, it slowly smooths the outside of the circle. So I'd recommend putting a little bit on this. Of course, that's up to you. If you don't like it, you can completely remove it. But it's really, really easy to change around. Now, what we're going to be doing next is coming to the very start of our scene and I'm going to be locating to where my Jeep is and you can locate to wherever you want to focus in on in your scene. Now to do this as you can tell the Jeep is a little bit far away so I'm going to be zooming by coming down here to the bottom left of our actual video preview and changing it from fit to 100% as I want to zoom in so I can be a bit more accurate with our scene. So I can see that my Jeep is right here so I'm going to be playing around with the center of our circle to make it fit exactly on top of the Jeep. Now you don't have to have this perfectly center if you don't wish. In this case I'm going to have it as roughly as center as I can and I'm not going to be as perfectly accurate as I would be normally just for speed and efficiency of this video and just to show you how things would be done normally. So now we have our center on top of our Jeep. But now the issue is when we actually move our scene, our Jeep is not going to stay in the same place, at least for my image. And as you can tell, the center of our actual circle on the spotlight effect is not going to be on our Jeep. So how do we change this? We're going to come back to the very beginning one more time and we're going to start and we're going to slowly go through our image to where our Jeep goes outside of our scene. And as you can tell right now, it's slightly on the outskirts of our image. So what we're going to be doing is adding some keyframes to our actual circle to make it move as the timeline moves on the track. So how we do this, come back to our effects control panel. And we're going to be playing around with the center and the radius. Now, as you can tell, to the left of the center and the radius, there's these two little toggle animation effects. And by doing this, we can activate keyframes for these two different effects. So I'm going to be clicking both of these right now. And as you can tell, to our right on our little timeline preview, we can tell that we have two little diamond stars. And both of these diamond stars stand for keyframes. And they stand for at this particular point in our timeline, this is where our center and radius are going to be located at. So if we come back to the very start of our scene, we can tell that we're perfectly center on our actual track. So what we're going to be doing is clicking to the right of our center and radius and clicking these little diamond effects to add keyframes to this point. Now you can skip back and forth between your keyframes by clicking the arrows to the left and right of the keyframes. And as you have more and more later on, this is the best method to go between your keyframes. If at any time you want to remove a keyframe, you can come to the right on the timeline, click a keyframe and click delete. Or if you want to just come to the keyframe and then click the circle box, you will see that it's blue when there's a keyframe on this point, And it's white if you want to add a keyframe to this point. I'm going to be adding the keyframe back to this point, And I'm going to be moving the center of our circle on top of the center of the Jeep. So as you can tell, we're going to move it slowly onto the center by playing around with our X and Y coordinates. And of course, you can play around with the radius size if you wish to increase and decrease the radius size as the track moves on. It's completely up to you. So now if we go back to the start of our timeline, and if we slowly skip forward to our second keyframes, we can tell that our spotlight effect is following the truck for this small amount of time. Now what we're going to be doing is following the truck on later on in the timeline to add multiple keyframes as the truck slowly moves out of our vision. 
So as you can tell, it moves a little bit forward. So I'm going to be going forward on the timeline a little bit. And as you can tell, the truck goes out of vision again. I'm going to be adding two more keyframes. And I'm going to be moving the spotlight until it's on the center of the truck once again. And you can continue to do this and be as accurate as you want. You can add keyframes in every second if you wish or every frame if you really want to go that detailed. But it really depends on the image, depends on how much you move, and depends on how accurate you have to be. Like I said, in this case, I'm going to be just a little bit inaccurate and I'm just going to be going for speed and efficiency in this case because otherwise this tutorial could take up much longer than it really needs to be. So I'm just going to be following through a little bit more step by step going forward a couple frames and just adding keyframes every time. Now, as you can tell, it's a really, really easy effect, but it can be really, really nice and really effective. So I'm going to be leaving it at that. I'm going to have a couple of keyframes. And as you see, if I play it through my timeline right now, you can see the spotlight effect follows it pretty well up until the point of my last keyframe. So what I'm going to be doing now is increasing the opacity on the outside of our circle one more time, just so we can get that nice effect. I'm going to be increasing it to about 65 and we're going to get this nice spotlight effect, but we can still see the image on the outside, but we're really just zoned in on this one particular point in our track. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to stop at this point because otherwise this tutorial could be really long, but it's as simple as that to make a spotlight effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to leave my Premiere Pro playlist on the top of the description down below if you want to check that out. I'm also going to leave a link down below to my PayPal if you found this video helpful and you want to donate to the channel to support me to continue making videos of course there's no pressure if you can't anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace